Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video we are back in a 1.16 survival world and as you can see I'm on something that you probably haven't seen in the game before. That is because the snapshot actually released yesterday. I didn't, I normally stream every snapshot but something did come up uh, which meant I weren't able to and I am sorry about that guys. Um, I was really looking forward to this snapshot because I thought it would add quite a bit um, as they want to give us the stuff because of uh, everyone being trapped indoors and not having much to do but they added this new mob as well as a new block I'll talk about the block later but this mob I think they've uh, I hope this ain't the end product of this mob because av as of this snapshot they, they seem kind of pointless they're basically never boats or what uh, they're, yeah, they're basically never boats. Uh, they can be uh, road like pigs, so they have their own. Uh, they wander wherever they like. You can't control them unless you have a. Uh, in pigs' case, it's carrot on a stick. In this case, it's a warped fungus on a stick. Um, I'm gonna put unbreaking and mending on this just so it don't keep breaking. But they go quite quick, and if you click on it, they do slowly gain momentum. As you can see, he's now running quite fast. I don't know what the fastest speed for these guys is, I can't actually check because I don't have much durability, but that is something we can test at a later date. Let's actually just drink a fire resistance quickly, just so if we do fall off, uh, off him or anything we don't die. And I also want to know where my helmet and boots are gone, I think I was trying to get better enchantments on them and I might have put them away somewhere. But I really... Oh, I just... Uh, is that a bug? That it gives you a fishing rod with no fungus? Or is that a feature? I didn't think that was a feature. Maybe it's a bug. But. So yeah, this is the mob. I don't, I think they missed a the potential with them. And hopefully they plan to update them a bit more. Because the end, that product that is in game right now, they're pointless. Um. Yeah, they're quite pointless, so I hope that they've got something, and like another feature for them planned, that they're releasing a later snapshot. But, it's a good mob anyway, you can now get across the lava quite easily. Right, so guys, I don't actually know how to do this, uh, like that. Yes, there you go, I've got some. You need chiselled, uh, where's my stone box? You need chiselled, and you need... Uh, it's quite an expensive block. You also need. I did mine a lot off camera, but that is the fact of where it is located now. Um, yeah, I've just got to scrummage through these chests until I find it. So, guys, I found it. It was actually down here. I must have been holding it and just ditched it quickly so I could pick some sugarcane up. But we've actually got 31, and this is not ingots, this is actually scrap. So, this is. This is only going to make like 7 or 8 ingots, I'm not too sure. But it's not enough, it's not much at all. And this took me qu quite a few hours to get this 31. Uh, block of gold. Um, right, let's just take that. Um, 4 and 4, yeah look, 7 with 3 left over. Which is not good. Right, I'm going to put that right scrap in there, actually. Just so I know where it is from now on. Although I'll probably end up forgetting anyway. Right, so what this right scrap is actually used for now is you put one in there with that block. And it gives you a load. Loadstone, is that how that's pronounced? I'm not too sure. But I'm actually going to make three of these. You'll see why in a second. Uh, and while we're at it, Let's change, where is it, um, let's go down here and upgrade our, let's do our leggings, um, let's do our sword and let's do our helmet and boots, uh, where's my sword gone, we have it here spare so why not, um, like so. So now we've got never. That looks. A, I don't like it unenchanted. Although it is enchanted, they haven't fixed that glint. Uh, the enchanted glint not showing. But at least we've got full never mind armor now. 
Uh, and we've got sword and pickaxe. We just need, what, three more? You can't make a netherite bow, so... That would be cool, though, but how would it be used? Um, right, so... Maybe it could give no a, a knockback on it by default. Right, uh, let's stop getting distracted. I actually need to find iron and redstone. Um, right, this is probably going to be a scummage through the chest for another 10 years. I really need to get a, sorting, a storage system sorted because this is not good. What did I say I needed? Iron and redstone. There's iron. Right, um, and there's some redstone. Right, so I need an anvil, which I can take. I also need um, compasses. So if I get some iron and put three compasses, um, there we go. I now have three compasses. And what this low stone does is if you place it down, uh, let's just place it here and then you uh, it does a stack so I don't want it to and right click on it Lodestone this compass will now always point towards this lodestone So if I turn the opposite direction as you can see it's pointing backwards because the lodestone's behind me uh, If I look like any way you can see it's turning to point it and That is a good thing because if you're exploring the end um, city you can place one of these at the, the end gateway you use or you can place one at the center although the center is known for zero zero anyway so you can place one of these at like an end gateway and then all you have to do is keep the compass and you can follow your way back to your the end gateway you came through so that is quite good for that way and it's also good for uh, I'm now gonna name this and call this uh, overworld base and now, that will always point me towards that lodestone. So if I travel thousands and thousands of blocks away, it will always tell me to go back to this uh, block, which is quite good. I'm surprised I didn't add this sooner, but these can always be now kept in our ender chest. So we can always now just access our ender chest. If we're stuck in the overworld, I will start carrying ender chests around with me I haven't got to that point in the game yet. Uh, if we now go to the overworld, uh, the never, I mean, I can now put one of them, uh, let's go back down. I can now put one maybe like in this room. Uh, where did I put them? There, I can now put one like in this corner. Oh, uh, that's done too. Can I now change one to another block? Uh, I'm not too sure on that. But now I can call this never base. Uh, never, no, never, I'll call it never hub because we are going to work on never hub quite soon. Um, and now once again, if I travel far away, it will always point me back towards that block. So I can now find my way back in the never. And once again, the same in the end. But the end is a bit pointless as of now because... Um, you always know where the spawn island is. You always spawn. As you can see, they break when you're not in the right dimension for them. Um, I'm guessing that's a bug as of this snapshot. I'm guessing that will be fixed. But, yeah. So, now, if I go like through one of these to explore the end, uh, if I can actually get through it, and stop being a bot. Right, so if I slowly and surely. Oh my god. Right. No, I'm just gonna die. Right, let's just go down in, in it slowly. There we go. So now what I can do is put a, one of them like here. So I now can right click on it. Ah, it does work. You can change it. And I can now call this one uh, end uh, thingy. And now if I explore so far in the end, I can't find this portal. All I have to do is use the compass and it will lead me straight back to it. Uh, so you don't have to click your quads, mark down your quads, screenshot it or anything anymore. Uh, which I like. 
I didn't expect them to add that this update, but it is one of them things that is a good thing to add because you can now relocate. Where am I? Oh, you can now relocate any of your um, overall base, never base, and also end. If you've got a base in the or a farm in the end, you can then call it a Endman Farm or Wither Rose Farm. Same in the overworld. I can now put one at my ocean monument and call it Ocean Monument uh, for, or Guardian Farm. Um, so, it's pretty good. Uh, so, I really like this feature. I think it is a good thing. It would be cool if when it's claimed, it shows a comp compassing uh, thingy just to show that it's claimed by something. Um, even if it didn't show something up here, maybe like the middle lights up and gives off a light level 1 or something. Just to show that it's claimed. Uh, that would be a better. But let's also get my anvil and rename this as spare. Because we ain't using it. And it's just glitching out. So I just want to know that it's a spare and we've not got it linked to anything. So there's our... Um, Right, where that's overworld never spare. So that is a very good thing. This I'm also gonna put in there for now. And I'm gonna put all that in a shocker box and call it maybe location or something like that. But they also had a new it's not a new feature, it's a change. Right, so guys, I've actually found our base again. I did get a bit lost, I ended up right over there, but I spotted the Mushu Island out of the corner of my eye. So I actually made it back. Right, now let's try this. So, block of blue ice there. Lava there. Does this work now? Yes, it does. And as you can see, it actually generates basalt. So now you can just sit here, put a block of obsidian or something there. And you can now just ran always generate basalt. Which I think I'm going to do because I quite like... Uh, I quite like the block. Uh, let's just break all this again. So what I'm going to do, while I'm actually going to, as of recording this video, it is quite late at night. So what I might do is actually AFK here overnight. And see how much I can actually get. Um, let's ditch literally everything. And apparently they've changed the way you get uh, polished basalt now. To a, I actually need that, and I need that. Uh, and I also need that. They've actually changed the way you get that. Apparently through this now. One equals one. Oh, that's so good. You don't have to sit there and smelt it. Is it the same as bedrock? Or it is. Ah, oh, that is good. So it's more efficient. I don't know. They give the same amount. One for one. And in this you get a four for four. Uh, so I don't know what way is more efficient. Obviously, it's a lot more efficient than smelting the stupid block. Um, I quite like the polished basalt, but it just took so long. You had to mine it, then smelt it. Uh, I'm glad that's gone. Right, let's actually get to this place. If you watched the last video, you'd know exactly where I'm going. Uh, let's try and get rid of this gas. There we go. So, yeah, if you watched the last video, you'll know exactly where I'm going. It is actually to our guardian farm. Off camera, I've actually made some adjustments to this room. I've started to decorate it a little bit. Obviously, I've got to uh, try and find a bedrock uh, breaking glitch that works on the uh, thingy floor to break that block. Um, and I've still got to decorate some of the ceiling. So, off camera, I've also made a storage or rough storage system. As you can see, it just all gets filtered into the chests. Um... And that's it, basically. So, nothing good. I will end up making a proper storage system for it another time. And as you can see, I've used a lot of buckets of lava to smelt loads of fish. The reason for this is, we're never going to run out of food now. Um, we've actually run out of lava buckets. I've filled this up with 14 buckets twice now. Uh, to smelt all the cod from that. And as you can see, I'm just eating it all. So, we're never going to run out of food. And I've also put these trapdoors here, just so when we... Uh, sitting here smacking the guardians as you can see if these are open they actually just knock us backwards now and again as you can see but with this armor you actually have 
Oh, uh, that's good. You actually have a knockback resistance. They don't knock you back as much. But the trapdoors being there are still good. These trapdoors here, uh, at the top here are just so they don't shoot me. And these ones I've just put here to make it look nice. But also a good thing, when I'm AFK and I can actually shut these now. So they can't actually see, have a direct line eye, eye of sight to me. Which is also quite good. Um, so yeah, the Guardian Farm's getting there. I still want to make some adjustments to it. Um, I've also noticed a lot of Guardians are getting caught up there. Um, and I think they're despawning where they're there for so long. And I think I'm a bit too far away. I'm not too sure. But it just went from once being really efficient to now not being that efficient. I don't know why. I haven't... I've obviously removed the slabs. I don't think that would change the efficiency of it. Um, I've also put some chests here. As you can see, I'm grinding half a chest full of all of the uh, Prismarine um, Ocean Monument based blocks. I've also got... I've almost got... Uh, enough of them not much of them then we're gonna have sea lanterns in the top half of that and dark prismarine in the bottom half of that so i'm slowly getting there um to give us a decent supply of this but um yes yeah, so i think that is going to be the end of this video this is just a court oh that's not good um this is just a little short video just so um, you guys know what's new if you didn't manage to get to watch anything already. But yeah, that is all that's new. What I want to do now is quickly just make a little room back here. Oh god. Uh, block that up. Um, that I can just sit AFK mining. Uh, what's it called? Basalt from. No, 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 no. Right, let's just be quick about this. There we go. So, how uh, many blocks does lava travel? If I put one there, how far will that travel without with actually being stopped manually and not with by hand? Right, so if I now put the soul sand uh, there, soul soil I mean, will it actually change that or does it need to be uh, one more block in? Right, it needs to be one more block in, which don't matter. Uh, it's just I was just testing so let's put that there with that there and now let's actually leave that there so now if I put the lava back there it should actually work um, yes I think this is a bit OP it would have been better yes actually I'm gonna quickly just move it back by a block the reason being because then the bedrocks behind it and I won't be uh, smashing blocks um, 24-7. So, let's now put that there. So, uh, soil there. And that there. And now if I literally just stand here, covering all these blocks back up that I'm not, uh, using. Like so. And maybe putting some blocks like that. Now, just stand in here. And as you can see, I can just automatically mine the basalt. Now and again, a block will probably be burned. But, yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to AFK here tonight or not, but, yeah, this is quite good. I'm glad they made this change. It saves you from flying up, breaking the whole pillar. That was just so annoying. Uh, but, yeah, this snapshot was pretty good. In general, it was quite a good snapshot. Um, we're just waiting for the pillager. Uh the pillager? No, the uh, piglings, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, general structure that they've said will be added, or it was teased at Minecon. I don't know what's happening about it. Uh, let's just hope they haven't ditched the idea. Because I think that's the only one, the only thing now that they haven't, uh, that they've actually told us about. Everything else that they add is unexpected. Um, like the. That block right there. Also like the um, the new mob they added. We didn't expect that. But mending and breaking. I'm actually going to take that. Let's also get uh, some warped. There we go. Let's now craft a uh, 
It removes the enchantments. Okay, I'm not going to do that then. Uh, let's quickly just make one that has no enchantments. Uh, sticks, one, two, three. There we go. And now let's see if we can actually put uh, combine these together to put enchantments on it. No, you cannot. Can I um, go and buy enchantments to put on it, maybe? Let's get these 60 emeralds. Or they're just in it, uh, unenchantable. We'll soon see. I'm breaking... Um, mending... Ah, uh, there we go. Wow, that used all them emeralds. We had 60, we've now got 3. Wow. Um, right, so now can we enchant this, or is it an unenchantable? No, it can be enchanted. So there you go, it now has unbreaking and mending on it. So that, what? I'm guessing that don't use as much durability when used now. Uh, do I have any fire resistance potions? No, I do not. Um... So, anyway guys, I know this is a shorter video than usual, I am sorry about that. Uh, I do actually want to get this up. Um, I might even upload, try and upload it tonight. Um, if so, it'll be a late upload. And earlier in the video I said uh, a snapshot came out yesterday. If it goes out on Wednesday... Then it actually came out the day this video was recorded. This video wasn't meant to go out till tomorrow. But I want to try and get out. And I did not stream. And I was meant to. So let's now see how much durability this uses per tick. So it's only used one. Let's do it again. And how much does it use now? It hasn't used one at all. So that's good. So guys... That is where we are going to be ending that video. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget, if you would like to, join the Discord. The link will be in the description down below. And I will see you guys next time. I really want to get one of these back to my base. That dude is over there swimming up the lava. I don't think that's how they're meant to work. You can just see him in the top corner above my head. Right there. So these can go on land. Um, I think he's broken. Um, he just went on that block and now he's broken. He's now actually walking on the lava. He shouldn't be this high. Let's try and get it. See if he can now walk up this block then. Because um, he is a bit higher than the others. Can he go up this block? No. No. So this was, yeah, it still works in the offhand. Jump. You're going to jump. Jump. How can we make him jump? Oh, that's shooting my bow. I was about to say. I didn't know fishing rod shot. Do these actually attack you if you hit them? Don't look like it. Is he going to attack me now? No, he just comes straight back for the... Uh, vine, uh, the... Uh, stick. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.